Hey guys and welcome back to another video. In today's video I'd love to show you how to crochet this adorable little stingray. Now he works up pretty quickly and he's worked in the flat with two pieces sewn together and he only uses three basic stitches so he is extremely beginner friendly. I will also be releasing a written version of this pattern with plenty of photos that will be available in my Etsy shop and my Ravelry that I'll link down in the description below for those that would prefer a written pattern or would like to support me more directly as an independent creator. Now I'll be working in US terminology and let's jump right into the materials. You'll need your four mil crochet hook which is also known as a G, a yarn needle, a pair of scissors, bit of stuffing and I'm going to be using a pair of 9 by 11 safety eyes with backs. Now this is completely optional you can use just normal 9 mil safety eyes or alternatively you could crochet them, embroider them, needle felt them or simply use felt and glue. But for this pattern I'll be using those safety eyes with a pair of backs. As for yarn, this is going to be known as colour A, which will be the top. So I'm going to recreate this guy for the purpose of this video. So I'm going to use this nice, gorgeous blue, but that will be colour A and also colour B, which will be the bottom of the stingray. So I'm just going to go with a nice white as I feel the blue and white goes really nice together. So using colour A, I'm just going to create a nice, easy slip knot. get comfortable with the yarn and I'm going to start off by chaining seven. Now just be aware of your tension. Next I'm going to single crochet in the second loop from the hook. So there's my first one, that'll be the second there. And I'm going to single crochet all the way back down to the starting one and that will leave me with six singles as we work down. There we go, so that's the very start of the nose. Now the most important part about this pattern is do not forget to chain one and then turn your work over at the end of every single row. So now I'll be working back down. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to display the pattern here. Make sure you work through it at your own pace. There is no rush for this. I'm just going to go ahead and follow the pattern and I'll see you at the end.
there we go so I've just finished round 22 where I've done a decrease and then a decrease and I've not chained yet so now to work the tail on we're going to chain one and then turn the work and then we're going to chain 19 Now after we've done those 19 chains, we're going to half double crochet all the way back down for a total of 18 half double crochets. So for a half double, we're going to wrap the yarn over the hook, insert our hook into the second loop from the hook, pull through, grab hold of the yarn and pull through all three loops that are on our hook. And that's a very quick crash course for a half double. So again, wrap the yarn over, go through, pull the yarn through, and then grab the yarn and pull it through all three loops. And one last time. There we go, so that's those three. So now I'm going to Carry on all the way down until I've got a total of 18 half doubles. Make sure that you don't twist your work as you're working. There we go, I've just finished my 18th half double. Now, if you manta ray and your tail aren't lining up, that's because somehow you managed to turn your work over. So simply flip it back over. So the tail and the very bottom will match up neatly. So now we're just going to insert our hook into the stitch of the tail and do a nice smooth slip stitch just to join it all together and pull it tight. So now you can pop a stitch marker in here if you wish to, uh, just so you don't lose anything in case anything comes undone. But for now, I'm just gonna chain one and then I'm gonna single crochet all the way around the outside of this manta ray and I'm going to stop just about here and then slip stitch back into the tail, just so it gives it a nice easy border to work with later when it comes to sewing this on. So I'll do the first few with you. So find the holes and poke your hook through and then just pop a nice single crochet. So there we go. It's very easy to see where you're going to work and just a nice, not too tight, not too loose single crochet. And now for this one, I, I'm gonna to struggle to get my hook through where I've done that chain and turn for that row. So I'm just gonna pop my stitch in there. It doesn't really matter. And again, I can't really get my hook through there, not easily. So I'm just going to work into the nice open stitch. So you want to keep your stitches as close to the border as you can.
there we go so that's put a nice border all the way around the outside of the ray now don't worry about the fins curling inwards or outwards uh, because we'll use this to our advantage when we're going to stuff and shape the finished thing so don't worry about that so next for colour A, which like I said this blue is going to be my A, you want to give yourself quite a long tail and then just snip it off because we'll use this tail to sew the pieces together as you can see here. I, have a, I like this edge that it gives, it gives it that traditional plushy style look. So we'll use the tail of colour A to sew the pieces together. So now I'll ask you to pause the video, go back and recreate this whole piece, including the single crochet border all the way around in colour B. So for mine I'm going to use white like I said earlier, but for colour B don't worry about leaving a really long tail, it's not necessary, only for colour A. So if you'd like to pause the video, go back, recreate this in your chosen colour and then meet me back here again in a few minutes. There we go, so I've got my A and B, and where the single crocheted border sticks out and faces you, as you can see these stitches are facing me, this is going to be the right side. So that there is the wrong side, this is the right. But we need to set the eyes in on our manta ray. So make sure you identify the right side. I always like to remember that this uh, starting point here is on the top left underneath. That's a nice little one that I used to remember. And I'm going to take my eyes and figure out roughly where I want to pop them on my ray. So if you're using safety eyes, uh, decide roughly where you'd like them to go. I'm going to go for about here. It's roughly where I put them on this first one. Uh, but you can put them as high or as low, as close together or far apart as you would like. Make sure that you are on the same line as well. Don't jump up a row or down a row, otherwise you'll have very wonky eyes. I think I'm pretty happy with how that will look. It's uh, roughly the same position as this one. I can tell. Yeah, I'm happy with that. So I'm just gonna set the backs in now there we go, he's starting to come together, he's looking really cute. So I'm going to take my underside and make sure that the right side is going to be on the very bottom. And I'm going to pop these together and make sure that I can line them up perfectly. I'm happy with that alignment. So as soon as you're ready, thread up your yarn needle. And make sure that you do stay in line, otherwise you'll end up with a really, really wonky stingray and nobody really wants that. So I'm gonna go down through the stitches of the border and then down through the stitches of the border of colour B as well. So I'm going to pinch them together all the way around and I'm going to sew using a running stitch. So in and out, in and out. Make sure that you keep them lined up as well. You keep the whole thing lined up nicely.
Now just before we get to the uh, tail, sewing that together, I'm just going to take a minute to stuff this entire manta ray. Now make sure that you evenly spread the stuffing around and my best advice would be to use little bits at a time. Don't just cram loads of stuffing in there, break it into small pieces, probably about that much at a time and just try and space it out as evenly as you can so you get this nice even finish that's still squashy. There we go, I'm pretty happy with how firm and stuffed this manta ray is. Now make sure that you don't overstuff it, you don't want to see the stuffing through the holes, especially around this area where we've done a double decrease. Uh, as you can see on this one, it's barely noticeable. Uh, and even on this one, it's, it's hardly noticeable, only if you really look closely and at certain angles that you can see all the way through. But that doesn't bother me. So for the white tail that's left over from uh, my, my base, the, the B, I've just, call a B, I've just tucked it straight in there. So let's continue sewing the tail. go is really starting to come together now so let's just jump onto the final details and do these spots now these are completely optional but personally I don't think it looks complete without the spots so I'm going to take up some white yarn again you can use any color that you like I'm just going to take a nice long strand and thread up my yarn needle so now I'm going to thread up through the bottom and I'm going to start near his nose. So I just want to come out about there between the eyes also. And all I'm going to do is just jump up one stitch and put two dots in there, uh, two, uh, two, two lines to make the dot like so. So I'm going to try and go for a nice pattern where it's thin here and then it gets broader and then thins in again, just like I did with this guy here. But that's completely optional. You can put as many spots as you want, wherever you want, all over it. Why not? That's all down to your personal preference.
we go. I'm pretty happy with those markings. Um, so there you go. That's that's how you make a I say making one of these adorable little stingrays. I love how quickly they work up, and I can use up some of my yarn scraps. And I just I can't get over how cute they look. I just think they're adorable. So I don't mind if you create these to sell. Just please don't sell the pattern, and please credit me where possible, as uh, every every little bit helps. So I hope you enjoyed learning how to create these adorable little stingrays. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of my tips, tricks and free future crochet patterns. It all really helps me out. So once again, thank you so much for watching and I really hope to see you in the next video. Bye for now.